Hello guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I thought I would vlog um, because I have a few clips from the last couple of weeks that I wanted to throw in, mainly just Eurovision, UK Eurovision clips that I originally was gonna make it into a big vlog on its own and show you guys a Liverpool Eurovision, um, but my mental health still hasn't been the best, I won't lie. So it has taken me a lot longer to kind of get back into a routine than I thought it would. But you can tell my body has been stressed because guys, I never get spots on my forehead. Never, ever. And look what's happening. Like, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. It could be worse to be fair. Um, but I do have like a birthmark here any anyway. But yeah, I started to break out on my forehead and I was like, whoa, okay. My body must be under a lot of stress right now because that has not happened in a long time. And on that note, I wanted to put the clips in this vlog of me getting ready for the Eurovision. I kind of like show you guys my hair and makeup, I think, and my outfit. And then there's a few clips from the actual Eurovision itself. I went to Liverpool City Centre. If you didn't know, Liverpool celebrated and hosted the Eurovision this year um, I know not everybody watches it but for Liverpool it was a really special thing because I feel like Manchester get a lot of the music events um, and for it to be like the UK and it to not be in London and it's for it to be in Liverpool I thought was like really special so since we also have you know like the Beatles and we do have a lot of music history so yeah so on that note enjoy these clips of the Eurovision in Liverpool Okay guys, I think I'm ready. I will be honest and say, sorry my mirror is a bit dirty. Have I um, washed my hair and completely redo my, redone my makeup? Yes, I have. Um, I don't know, my hair was like, I went to the shop to get dry shampoo, came back, put it in, and I was like, even the dry shampoo is not saving this hair. So I had to redo it. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I just gave up in the end, I couldn't be bothered um this little strappy dress it's quite hot today so shouldn't be too hot in this and then i have got my boots on which i probably will be hot in these but i honestly am running out of time i can't be bothered to even like sweat off my makeup again and have to find another outfit so i think this is what i'm gonna wear and then i have my red bag over here just feel like the red and the black and the cowboy boots is like a good a good combo classic like you don't really need to do much else honestly i was very worried then because i thought my favorite jacket was in the wash but it's not so that's great news for us um yeah i know not everyone will like this jacket but i personally love it because i'm not gonna keep it on now because it's gonna be way too hot but i call this my postman jacket because it's kind of like i don't know I think I saw it named somewhere, a postman jacket. Um, but yeah, let's see how that looks in the mirror. Yeah, so it just kind of like, I don't know, just gives a bit more of like a relaxed and cool vibe. Also blue is just like so my color. Okay guys, I'm ready to go, I've got the sunnies on. Just thought I'd quickly check in with you guys before I head off the door because I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. I don't know how much conversation you're gonna get out of me. <laughs> I try and vlog my friends, but it's just one of them things, it's just like people that don't wanna be in the, on the internet don't wanna be on the internet, people that do can be. Um, but yeah, I'll try my best to show you guys everything. Um, but yeah, outfit is done. So glad that I rewashed my hair, honestly. Just like feel like a brand new person with it. Um, and yeah, I'm ready for a drink now. Very, very excited. <laughs> You're all on YouTube.
Okay, welcome back. Was that fun or was it not fun? I don't really know. I didn't know how much footage I got. Um, but yeah, it's always hard to vlog with your friends because like some people like to be on camera, some people, some people don't. So um, yeah, we'll see how it turned out anyway. Um, but this vlog is mainly going to be me getting ready for a wedding this weekend and also a little bit of the wedding itself. I'm going to try and like get a few little clips of the wedding um, without like invading people's like privacy and putting it all over the internet. Um, I'm going to do my best that I can with that one. But I wanted to vlog. It is Wednesday today and basically I'm having a week of like prep for the wedding. So um, I got my hair done two weeks ago now. No, a week ago? Yeah, a week ago now. Um, so it's kind of like a little bit blonder. So the hair is done. I've been trying to really take care of my skin over the past week. I got my nails done as well. I'm trying to show you my nails, but it just will not focus. <laughs> so let's see if this is any better. There we go. So yes, I got my nails done. And I know they're very, very short, but I originally did want to get acrylics, but there was just a bit of miscommunication um, between me and the nail tech. So I ended up just getting um, like this little design on my natural nails, which I know is a, a very, very short. Like you don't have to tell me like I already know that. But um, I think it worked out as like a blessing in disguise because I don't really do well with like long nails. And yeah, I think this will be a good opportunity for me to like grow my nails longer. The one thing that I am so excited about, guys, I cannot wait to show you this. I have been hiding this dress forever. Like I've had this dress for like four months now. And honestly, it is my dream dress, like my dream dress. It was expensive, um, but I got it secondhand, so that's a bonus, but it is expensive. It is designer, and yeah, this is the dress that I'm gonna be wearing to the wedding, and I've been so excited to wear it. And that's why like, I kind of got even more annoyed about having like my anxiety and just not feeling 100%, because I've had this dress for so many months, and I was like, really? really now anxiety you're gonna give it to me now i finally get to show you the dress in this video which is so exciting i wonder if you can guess what color it is based off my nails and based off what i'm wearing now yes it's blue um so yeah there's a lot of blue going on but yeah i can't wait to show you the dress good evening guys welcome um i don't particularly know where i wanted to put this clip in but a very 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 exciting parcel arrived today and this is going to be potentially a dress that i wear to a wedding that i have in the summer i know i've mentioned it quite a lot but i have two weddings in the summer i saw this dress just randomly on instagram and i as you guys probably know if you've watched all of my other videos i am slowly but surely building up more of a designer wardrobe and um, i'm really staring away from you know the fast fashion ASOS and all that stuff it, I do still use it when I need it but I obviously go to the charity shops a lot more and focus my attention there and then when I really want like a nice and special piece I spend the time kind of looking into designer brands which to be honest even though I love fashion I don't know a lot about designer brands like I think it's a minefield of its own designer and luxury wear um I you know of course know the big ones Chanel Gucci but there are a handful of other ones out there so I made quite a high purchase um a couple of months ago now and it's from a brand called Magpie Vintage and then I'm gonna class this as my second kind of designer high purchase so it's from a brand called C New York and I tried my best to get this dress on the actual website it was retailed at around 300 pound so I then you know was like ready to buy it I was like okay I'm gonna make the purchase and then I went to purchase it and they were adding on like 100 200 um international shipping fees I didn't even think about that concept so I decided that you know it was already 300 pound I was like 500 pound for this dress is just not really I don't really think it's worth it so um I decided to try and find it elsewhere and guys I am so happy with this new app that I found so I found this new app called Versatire versatile i'm gonna tell you say it i'll put it on the screen and it's basically second hand designer items and that is where i found this little baby so let's open it up and see what it looks like 
Guys, are we ready? So it's obviously not the best lighting because it's late at night right now. So I'll probably show you again in the morning. But oh my goodness me. I don't know if you can really see it. <laughs> not a very good example. But it's basically like this pleated blue long dress. It's got this like elastic. Not even elastic. I'm not going to describe this very well. But look at that. Oh my god. It is just my dream dress guys. Oh. So yeah, you can see the brand there. See, New York, size medium. I did want a size small, but actually the size medium looks perfect for me. Um, so I feel like it was meant to be. But I got this for £190. Retailed at around £300. Oh my God. That app is just the best thing ever. Oh my God, guys. I cannot wait to try this on. I'm so excited. Well, hello. It is a few days later and it is the day before the wedding and I've just got out the shower um, and I'm about to blow dry my hair. This is going to be my blow dry for the day. So yeah, it's, it's not going to last me because tomorrow morning I'm going to be wanding and kind of blow drying again with the Dyson um, but with the killing wand, not the hair dryer. So yeah. Okay guys, it is wedding day. Um, I know we quickly jumped forward and I haven't actually done much in this video so far, but it's wedding day. We are in our Premier Inn Hotel. It is, um, I don't know, it's basic. It's a bit of a mess now. Me and Mike have been here for one night already. I've actually just sent Mike off. He's gone to meet the rest of the groomsmen and um, yeah, he's already in his suit. He looks lovely. And now it's my turn to get ready and I'm so excited just to have, I've got time. So that's a good thing. Like I don't have to leave till one o'clock. Um, it's currently, what time is it now? Let me check. 20 past 10 so I have time but I do want to start getting ready now just because I know what I'm like and sometimes I do this I like I don't know I get ready too late or like I don't get ready I'm quite a, I'm always late basically so today is a day I cannot be late so um yeah I'm gonna start getting ready now but I have to show you guys my dress that I'm wearing because I've still not showed you so let's do that Okay guys, this is my dress, Ta -da! Look at it, I mean, it's just incredible. I need to give it a bit of a steam, I do have my steamer here. Um, but yes, oh my god, I'm so excited to wear this guys. And then I've got my shoe options here. I've got these shoes to go with it because I just wasn't sure what colour would go. I just thought, oh, I'll keep, keep it to blue. And then I do have these ones, which I'm going to take with me in like an extra little bag because I just know that my feet will be hurting me at the end of the day in these. So I think taking these is a good idea. Um, and then this room is a bit of a mess, but this is the bag that I have. So we've got blue shoes, blue dress, and then the brown bag. But how cute. So the dress is from see new york and i think i actually have a clip of me opening it so if i do i will put that in but yes i'm just obsessed with it honestly my dream dress and i'm so excited to wear it i've been waiting for weeks to wear it i've had it for so long so today is finally the day i get to wear it and i'm so excited so cannot wait so i think what i'm gonna stop by doing is i'm gonna curl my hair i think um, because it takes the longest it's always the thing that takes me the longest i have to section it it's quite long so yeah i just want to get that out the way and then i can like go over it again um and then i'm going to steam my dress then i'm going to do a face mask um and yeah we'll go from there so up first curling my hair okay guys i've just done my dyson air wrap and my plan of action is basically to dyson air wrap it and then I'm gonna do some flyaway stuff and then I'm gonna go in with my curling tongue because you want like extra, you know, levels, layers. 
um yeah the way i'm thinking about it is that like this is probably not true if my chaos fall out my dice near up will still be underneath but obviously i'm gonna like kill over these so um it's totally not true but i think it looks good so far Okay guys, I'm putting on this gold mask. <laughs> this looks so funny. I'm just gonna fold that up there. And now I have the bottom bit. This was from, oh, okay. This was from my Liberty Advent Calendar um, and I thought I would save it for today. That was at Christmas time. Oh, it's so slippy. This is hilarious. 15 minute timer. I'll come back. Okay, whilst my face mask is on and I look like um a superhero or something i'm going to steam the dress just put filled up my steamer i'm gonna put it on and get this dress to look not crinkled the thing about this dress is it's quite hard because it's that type of material like it's kind of meant to have a bit of a crease to it but i think i could try and get a bit more out of it um than there currently is so yes i look so hilarious in this uh, but yes i'm gonna do a little time lapse now of me steaming it so let's go first start off by cleansing my face with this little baby this is called the seated queen and it's like an evening mask and also a cleanser so just like to take a little bit of that and I haven't fully practiced my whole makeup routine um but I think we'll be okay I've done my makeup enough times to know that will be fine then i'm gonna go in with my toner this is my body shop toner and i just like to pat then we're gonna do very important guys i stopped using retinol and i got so many spots and now i'm back into it and i can see my skin clearing up again honestly if you do not use it you need to okay next up is eye cream this is by sunday riley and this is my favorite guys i can already feel the time going so quickly it is 20 to 12 and i said i wanted to be ready for past 12 and yeah that's not long at all okay so now i'm gonna move on to makeup and i've decided i'm not gonna show you my full makeup routine in detail because um i'm in a rush i can feel myself rushing now and i don't like that so um i'm gonna try and find oh yeah so i'm gonna put some music on and hopefully that'll make me go a bit quicker and i'm going to time lapse it for you guys so Let's get wedding ready.
done. Um, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I don't know how to make my eyes like bigger or I don't know where to put more eyeshadow on. I don't know if this is enough makeup or too little makeup. I don't know at this point, but we're done and it's time to get in the dress, so let's do that. Okay guys, <laughs> here I am. I'm all ready to go. I absolutely love this dress and I've got my heels on with a brown bag. I do need to pack my bag because um, it's not packed yet. I'm just going to spray some more perfume. Okay, I feel like I'm rushing now. But yes, this is what I'm wearing. Wedding ready. And I feel like I've steamed it as best as I can. I cannot get any more steams out of this. It is what it is. But yes. What do we think? Let me know. Is this the best dress I've ever worn? Because I think it's <laughs> That was me at the first wedding of the year and these next clips are basically me at another wedding and um, which i went to the weekend after so this is me finding my dress for that day and enjoying that little weekend um yeah this vlog was only like 20 minutes long and i thought i'll just throw these in here so you're having a whole vlog with wedding guest outfits designer dresses um spas me just living like my best life so enjoy the second wedding and let's get on with it okay it's time guys it is time <laughs> to open my rixo dress now i will say this is not an authentic um first time unboxing i have already just opened this because i just wanted to see what it was like just quickly off camera but um look how fancy it is like Net-a-Porte. I will say this is my first time I've ever ordered off Net-a-Porte. Oh, it feels so fancy. Okay, now it's time for the dress itself. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. So this is it. This is the Rixo dress that I went for. I'm a bit worried now that it looks a bit too big. I did get a 10 because I like to have room in my dresses. Like I I'm definitely probably a size 8 in dresses, but I hate it when they're like too tight on my stomach. So I did get a 10, but I don't know whether that'll mean that it's like too big on the arms or anything. I don't know. But yeah, this is the Rixo dress that I've gone for. I just thought this was so appropriate for a wedding. Like it's so pretty. It's got like these little puff sleeves but the reason why i also liked this one was because of the shape at the top of it for somebody that's a bit bigger chested a lot of the wixo dresses are kind of like a deep v-neck and for somebody with boobs it doesn't really work i don't really personally like the way it looks so this is definitely a lot more flattering it's like a scoop um and it just goes to like the my favorite bit of my arm like it doesn't show this top bit so yeah i can guarantee that i'm gonna feel so good in this and i'm excited to try it on hello guys welcome i'm here i'm at a little spa break and i just felt like this is something that would was be totally like vlog worthy Um, basically this is the second wedding that i'm attending so i had a wedding last weekend oh there's an airplane going there um Anyway, I had a wedding going last weekend and now we are at another wedding this weekend. This one is with my family, but I thought I'd quickly show you our little hotel room. It is a bit of a mess. So yes, this is the bathroom and this looks, this is a very nice bathroom to be fair. Um, it's got a big, big mirror and then lovely taps. Got my makeup basket here. This one's got like my skincare and that in. Um, little handrail. Then this is the bath and the shower. Um, and then you come out here, a little mirror on the back of the door, put this dress on today. Um, and then you come in, this is the room, um, obviously nice big bed. Um, again, it is a bit messy, um, but we are on like the ground floor, like, it feels like the lower ground floor to be honest, um, but still nice. And then this is my dress that I'm wearing this weekend, it's my Rixo dress 
very excited to um, wear that with my little gold heels. But yeah, so that's the room. Uh, and basically you get these like bags and it's like a robe and um, some slippers and you obviously wear them to go to the spa. So I think we're gonna go to the spa in a little bit and chill out there. I'm a bit hungry so I get some food um, and then the wedding is tomorrow. Exciting. I'm with mum. Wave mum. <laughs> and we're just going to look at this little cute pond. It's adorable. So nice. Ah. Okay guys, it is spa time. I'm in my costume, got my robe on, and we're gonna head to the, to the pool. Good evening guys. Um, I realized that I didn't actually film anything at the spa, but I will put in a few photos on the screen right now. Um, yeah. We were there for like two hours and I really needed that after the most intense month that I've had. Um, so yeah, I feel super refreshed and now I'm just having a cup of peppermint tea. I'm in my little robe and I've just blow dried my hair. So I blow dried my hair um, for tomorrow and I just need to do some tan and then I'm all good to go. But yes, I'm feeling very relaxed and I'm very happy right now. Thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little wedding guest vlog i will link all of my dresses down below if you want to check them out yourself for a wedding and yes make sure to subscribe there are a handful of you who watch my videos but are not actually subscribed i want to make it to 2000 subscribers and you guys can help me do that so i love you all so much and i will see you next sunday for a brand new video bye